How's it going guys? You should have just seen the NASCAR Rivals trailer. Did it really show anything? Yeah, probably not. That's what launch trailers do. Hopefully they show some more uh, of the actual game in the future. But that was the trailer. Real quick, want to give a shout out to all the Patreon members as always for supporting the, the, the channel and for supporting technically the channel and supporting him. I mean, think about it this way. If you support the channel via Patreon, you're supporting him. Like his DTs, I call them, I call them dental treats. I don't like to say it because he... He knows what that word means. Uh, you know, his food, you know, the the, vet, the bath, all that. You're, you're supporting him directly. I'm just saying that that's essentially where all the Patreon money goes to. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Now, while that trailer, trailer didn't really show anything, I do have, like, the full feature list and FAQ. So it should answer any questions that we all have about this Nintendo Switch version of NASCAR Rivals. And it does answer my questions as well as to what I really think this game is, even though we haven't really seen much. There also are new screenshots. I'll put that up now. Um, there's a few more, you know, screenshots from different uh, perspectives. And you can kind of see it, it, it really is built off what NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition was. It is built off same game engine few updates here and there new cars and, and the new paint schemes and all that so that's what this game is that's what you should expect now let's actually go and look at this uh press release Alrighty, so strap yourselves in it's gonna be a good amount of reading okay but uh the product description and the features you guys have already seen it in the previous video right so we already kind of know what that all that is Release date is October 14th. Format, only the Nintendo Switch. Online, up to 16 players. Local wireless, up to 8 players. And split screen for 2 players. Um, only in English, which is actually kind of weird. I thought it would be in more languages. I guess not. Um, racing, obviously, yeah, you get that. Uh, $49.99 will be the price. Uh, and I just want to point out, guys, just in my opinion, Nintendo Switch pricing is crazy. Like, the games never go on sale. Uh, that's one thing about the Nintendo Switch that's just weird to me. It's like, you know... On, on PC and even on consoles, there'll be like a good amount of sales. On Nintendo Switch, there's like never any sales. I, I don't know, just my, my opinion. Uh, we Again, we've already been through the product description. We've already been through all the features. Uh, there's a few more here that weren't in the Best Buy or Walmart description. So where I can see that is probably Paint Booth. That actually wasn't talked about in the, um, in the Walmart and Best Buy stuff. So it says a completely revamped Paint Booth allows players to fully customize their next-gen cars with a wide array of colors, decals, number designs, and more. Um, and again, this is, you know, while this game is very built off NASCAR Heat games uh, in the NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition game, um, this paint booth feels a lot like it came from Ignition. You know, you could replace the decals. Th think about the u Technics games, right? You know, it's very much like that. So that's what it's going to be like. Character creator, customize your own driver by adjusting the appearance, uh, fire suit, and more. I'm, I'm sure that's very similar to NASCAR Heat, so just expect that. Um, updated graphics, improved lighting at all tracks, as well as sharpened textures throughout the game. You know, Again, how, how good of graphics can you get on the Nintendo Switch? Not really what we're here for. It's all about having fun. Soundtrack, I can never listen to it because of YouTube. That's that's just me. I'm sorry. I, I literally haven't listened to a soundtrack in a NASCAR game in probably over five years. So, yeah, that's quite unfortunate. Literally, anything I record, I cannot, like, have any music at all. Except for, like, music I put in. But, like, you know, I can't use anything from the actual game um and then joy con wheel compatibility put the control in your hands with the nintendo joy con wheel pair okay that is cool okay so this is where all the new the new stuff is all right so this is where the the meat of the video is going to be so general faq and you can see there's a lot okay so you can see i'm scrolling through there's there's a good amount sure to answer all of our questions so uh when i'll fly through some of the quick ones already one is nascar rivals launching we know that it's october 14th on the switch uh will it feature all three nascar nascar national touring series and it's going to be no so the nascar cup series is the only national touring series that will be featured in nascar rivals that's what i said before i just noticed that you know it doesn't look like there's trucks in xfinity so they just took that stuff out of the game and what they're gonna put else i i, I don't really know <laughs> yeah i got we gotta gotta see how that goes but it's only going to be the cup series and i'm sure they'll probably put that back in and, and later on it's a, it is kind of weird because this is some you know it, it is coming from the nascar heat games so i i wonder what the decision there was as to why they took it out um you know again not really sure i, I don't know it must be there must be some reason for it so we'll, we'll see that 
Uh, is the game accessible to a uh, player of all skill levels? Yeah, we know that. Um, what race modes do the NASCAR rivals have? So uh, we know that as well. There's a little bit more detail in career mode. So career mode allows players to create their own team or join an existing one to complete the full season, contend for a championship, attract new contract offers, and build your legacy in NASCAR Cup Series. Uh, in, you know, in the NASCAR Heat career, you could also do that, which is attract new contract offers. So again, I'm sure it's going to be very similar to that. I, I was hoping it'd be a little bit more different, but what it seems like is you can create a team, but it seems like it's going to be very similar to what the NASCAR Heat career was until I actually see it. I can't tell you that for a fact, but just wow, how it sounds and knowing that the UI looks like NASCAR Heat, that's probably what it's going to be. Um, and then everything else, again, we've already kind of already been through that split screen race now, all, all that stuff. It <laughs> I don't know why they put this in here. Is there a rear view mirror available to players in NASCAR rivals? You know, this has been such a weird topic. It's a huge deal for NASCAR 21 Ignition, but again, NASCAR Heat always had it. Um, a rear view mirror will be available to players via day one patch for NASCAR rivals. This free patch will be available to all players that own NASCAR rivals and will update once they connect to the internet. Okay, so it, the rear view mirrors in, in NASCAR rivals. It's just funny, you know, every time we talk about a NASCAR game until uh, the console games have it, that's going to be a main question when it shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't be a main question. It should not be in the FAQ. Let's just put it that way. But, you know, it is what it is. Can I do a burnout after winning a race in any mode? Uh, and the answer is yes, you can. So in NASCAR 21 Ignition, you can't. In NASCAR Heat or NASCAR Rivals, you can. Um, best line, there's a suggested line. You guys know about that. Who serves as the in-game spotter? The in-game spotter for NASCAR Rivals is Freddie Kraft, who is the uh, spotter for Bubba Wallace. Uh, who provides the voiceover? That is going to be Alex Hayden. So you can notice that they're like mixing certain things from their console, like from Ignition, from the console games, and they're mixing it into what previously previously was on the Heat games. So you can just notice that. There's like a few things from the Heat games, few things from the Ignition games, and you know all that stuff. Um, what driving assists are players able to adjust? So. This is actually quite interesting. Um, there are, are a host of options when it comes to adjustable driving assists. Players can adjust the, f the following areas of gameplay. And by the way, this is quite important because, again, it's the Nintendo Switch. Like, it, this isn't sim racing. So, I'm, I'll am i be honest. Even I would probably run assists. Like, I'm not going to run manual transmission on a Nintendo Switch NASCAR game. It's just not going to happen. Uh, brake smoothing is on there. Uh, driving assist, ability help, steering help, off throttle, oversteer, braking oversteer, wall avoidance. If you remember wall avoidance, uh, brake smoothing, all that was in the heat games. So again, you gotta get the gist. It's gonna be a lot like heat. Players can also adjust the AI settings and difficulty to make it even a more customized experience. Uh, controllers, you guys know all the Nintendo stuff. The soundtrack will feature, you know who? X Ambassadors, Ali Star X, Leap, Chris Chris, Phantom Passenger, Milo Lemich, Whiskey Myers, and Renz. I don't know what the. Uh, I think I've heard of X Ambassadors before, but everyone else, I got no idea. Um, multiplayer gameplay. Are, able, are players able to race against one another using split screen? And the answer is yes. You can use split screen mode and the Joy-Cons and all that stuff and pro controllers. Um, how many players are able to race in an online multiplayer lobby? That will be 16 different players. Uh, how are players able to create their own custom race events? And the answer is yes, players are able to customize nearly every aspect of race events in online multiplayer. They're able to customize the track selection, series of tracks, race length, tire wear and fuel consumption, draft influence, maximum number of players, AI cars, flags, stages, damage, and driving age. That, that, that's actually quite good. We don't have any of that in the console games. Literally, you can't do any of this. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Tire wear and fuel consumption, can't do it. Draft influence. Maximum number of players, AI cars, flags, stages, damage, driving aids. Wow. Can I get some of this stuff in the console game? What the hell? Uh, will players be able to race against friends without an internet connection? Following the day one patch, players will be able to race up against this, uh, up to, wait, up against up to seven other players by using the wireless multiplayer option. This allows players to compete against each other, utilizing a local wireless connection, such as Bluetooth. So if you want to have a uh, party and play... NASCAR, go ahead. I'm probably not going to do that. But then again, I don't have friends. So I might be in the minority. I'm more of like an introvert lone guy, you know? I don't... I ain't going... And if I am with seven other people, I'm not going to be playing my Nintendo Switch. 
I'll be honest, I don't even remember the last time I was with seven other people. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Oh, God, that's kind of embarrassing. No, I'm serious. I don't remember the last time I was with seven other people. Like, in a, like a get-together. I don't remember it. Wow. I, you could say, I don't go to parties and such, guys. I'm, I'm an in-house person, okay? Career mode. This is what I'm interested in. Uh, will players be able to create their own character? And it says, uh, when players start a new career in the NASCAR Rivals career mode, they'll begin by customizing, customizing the driver's name and appearance. Players have a variety of customizable features to make their character truly their own. Sounds like NASCAR heat. Uh, can players create their own team to race for? And the answer is yes. Two options when beginning a career. Uh, create your own team or join an ex existing NASCAR Cup Series team. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. I need to see what creating a team is like. If it's exactly like NASCAR Heat, then I might not do it. Um, so we'll see. Uh, but I probably will anyways. Can players create their own custom paint scheme to race in career mode? When players create their own team to compete for in career mode, they'll be presented with potential sponsors to choose as a primary partner on the car. That sponsor's logos will, be, will appear on a blank car, which the player can then customize using the in-depth paint booth. So yes, you can... You can do that. It's just the logos have to be on the paint booth car. So that at least is pretty nice. Uh, you, then you could throw in your own layers of decals and stuff. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. What uh, what will a player have to manage if they create their own team to race for in a career mode? This is what I want to know. When creating a new team in a career mode, you'll have to choose the team name, select a sponsor, purchase race cars, hire employees, train the employees uh, to increase their work impact and improve the overall car's performance. Sponsors will provide incentives throughout the season with various requirements uh, for each. These vary in terms of difficulties. That sounds exactly like the NASCAR Heat career, so maybe it's not different. That's a little bit unfortunate because, guys, that's that's exactly... I mean, you hire the employees, you train the employees, they impact the overall car performance, they also provide incentives. I remember all of it. <laughs> so this does sound exactly like the NASCAR Heat career mode. So I would say maybe a little bit disappointing there. Um... Just something different. I don't even know if it would have been better. I just kind of wanted something different. But, you know, it is it is what it is. Again, I'll, I'll see. Maybe the UI is different or something, but it sounds very similar to what uh, to NASCAR Heat. And let's see. Are each of the existing NASCAR Cup Series teams cars available when selecting a new contract? When players either join an existing team to begin their career mode or when they're offered a new contract, it will be a specific car from the existing team. When first selecting a team to drive for when starting a new career mode, players will be presented with an option of cars from a specific team. Players will be presented with an option of cars from a specific team. Okay. So, again, sounds like NASCAR Heat. Because you remember, you didn't pick the car you drove, I'm pretty sure, in, in NASCAR Heat. How will a player know when a new contract is available? Once in career mode, players can go to Future Plans tab to see the contract requirements for each team. As the player goes through the season and hits the various requirements for each team, contract options will then become available. When a new contract is available, players will see a pop-up notification informing them of a new contract. If the player wishes to sign up the new team, they will arrange a contract option to join the new organization. And players are also able to start their own team after joining an already existing NASCAR Cup Series team. Sounds like NASCAR Heat. And is there a rivalry aspect in career mode? The way a player races against other drivers in the field will ultimately impact how they race against the player. Other racers will either become a friend, happy, kind, nice, polite, neutral, annoyed, upset, or angry. That's a lot of different uh, morales um, at the player as they progress throughout the season. When looking at the About Me tab of the career mode, you'll see a My Reputation breakdown driver relationship. Okay, so I kind of got my answer there. It's like NASCAR Heat. <laughs> it sounds exactly like it. Again, a little bit disappointing, but it's a NAS it's a Nintendo Switch game. I'm not I'm not gonna really again. I don't really care. <laughs> I care about NASCAR uh, on the console side. Like, if you told me this is what the console game was going to be like, I'd be throwing a hissy fit right now. I'm not even kidding. I would be throwing a hissy fit. But uh, it's not. So, you know, it is what it is. And customization. Will players be able to create their own custom paint schemes? Didn't we just answer that? I think so. Yes, you can. Uh, and will players be able to customize their driver appearance? Wasn't that up there too? I swear that was up here. I swear I saw that again. Where is it? Where is it? It was like in career mode or something, wasn't it? You can like, oh no, it was up here. Create character creator. Okay, so that is all the FAQs. Um, and so yeah, that gives you a pretty decent idea of what the game is like. And I'll tell you guys right now what the game is like. If you have a Nintendo Switch and you want to play a NASCAR game, this is probably the game you're gonna want to buy. But just giving you a heads up on what it's probably going to be like. It's gonna be next gen cars, different paint schemes, and then basically everything else you know maybe uh, updated physics i forgot that part because of the new cars updated physics updated tracks so like for example nashville should be there but other than that it's really going to dry or feel like look 
and feel like what NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition was, what NASCAR Heat 5 was. So, to be fair, for a, N a Nintendo Switch game, that's probably what a lot of people were expecting and what a lot of people enjoy. Because I remember NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition when it came out last year. Again, I didn't play it because I knew it was just a port of NASCAR Heat 5. Uh, most people were okay with it. So, you know, I expect this game... W what's new about this game is the next-gen car. So, because it's a completely different physics package, the physics should be slightly different. Um, now, I don't know how much different, but it's going to be different. So... That's the one thing uh, you see, but again, if you buy this game, or if you want to buy this game, I would, again, don't pre-order, I don't even think pre-orders are available, don't pre-order, actually no, never pre-order a game ever again, I, I mean, you don't need a pre-order anymore. Guys, if you want to buy a game, it's not going to run out of stock, alright, you don't need a pre-order, but, it, you know, if you want to buy this, just think about when you're going to use it, like, if you always use your Nintendo Switch and you want to play NASCAR games, then yes, I think you should, wow, it just got really dark outside, uh, if you want to, you know, Use your Nintendo Switch and play racing games? Yeah, do it. If you travel a lot and you want to use your Nintendo Switch, yeah, do it. But if you're kind of like someone like me who sits on the PC most of the day, has the PlayStation 5 and all that stuff, and mostly plays PC games, then maybe not, you know? So maybe wait for a price drop or something like that. Um, I will play this game because I didn't play the previous one, and I am able to now record content using my Nintendo Switch on here, so... You know, it'll be the first time I ever even record Nintendo Switch content. So I feel like this game on October 14th or 14th will be actually a good opportunity for me to do that. So I'll play it for the first time and let you guys know what I think of it. But just know this game is made for certain people. It's made for kids. It's made for people who travel a lot and just made to relax. There should be no really criticism. Like when I saw the career mode stuff, right? You saw how I was a little bit disappointed, but I'm like, yeah, it's the same. But eh, you know what I mean? Like, it's okay. If this was the 2023 NASCAR game on PC and on consoles and, you know, this was the, the, the flagship game, I would be punching the camera. I, I would just, like, be punching the camera and, you know, telling MSG to, like, fall off a cliff. But that's not, this is just a Nintendo Switch game. So that's why I'm saying those are your expectations. That's what the game is going to be. Uh, not 100% confirmed, but reading all this, I can kind of give my opinion. That's what the game is going to be. Up to you guys, uh, whether you want to, and I'll, I'm sure, hopefully, uh, Motorsport Games will let me capture some, uh, you know, footage and upload it before the game releases so you guys can see what it's like. So, hopefully, I can do that and take, you know, that's it. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Subscribe if you're new. And comment down below what you think of NASCAR Rivals. That was the full details. Uh, the only thing we haven't really seen is gameplay footage, but you should kind of know what it's going to look like. So, uh, we'll... You know, when that does come, I'll, I'll make a video on it. But, you know, I think we all know what, what to expect. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.